Hey there, Julian here, and welcome to Member Scripts number 20. So I'm going to show you how you can allow your members to like, save, bookmark, favorite CMS items. So the way that looks is following. As you can see, some of these are red and some of these are not. I can go ahead and click one. I can go ahead and unclick this one. And then let's just say I refresh, for example. What is going to happen is, well, they're saved and they'll say stay saved everywhere. All is good there. So now let's take a look at how we do it. First things first, these are CMS items and you are going to need to actually have their item ID as a field. And if we take a look at an item specifically, we can see that is right here. And if you're adding them through Maker Zapier, you can do this automatically. If not, you're just gonna need to copy this and put it in a field. A little bit frustrating, but you will need to do it so that this works. Anyways, so now that we have that, what we are going to need is within all of these CMS items, we're gonna need this little wrap for the buttons. And that will need to have this ms-code-save attribute applied. I have bookmark here. Yours can be absolutely anything. Um, I, If you take a look over here at the member JSON, I've had this set to favorite. I also had it set to like and deleted the JSON. Um, doesn't matter. It can be anything that you want it to be. Um, just keep it as that, I guess. So within there, what you will have is two individual buttons. One is to save and one is to unsave. So each one of those is going to need its own attribute. And the unsave one here, which is red, um, will have ms-code-unsave-child, and then you can add that item ID field. Then this one over here, to like it or save it, is going to have ms-code-save-child equals item ID. So we just have three attributes applied, and that is all. So now if we publish that, what we're going to see is the following. If I like, it will get added over here as its item ID in the array under bookmark, which I've created because of the attribute that is on this thing right here. So that is it. All you need to do is copy paste the script, add three attributes and make sure your CMS ID is saved as a field. If you got that, you're good to go. If you have any issues with this or want anything else, just let me know, julian at memberstack.com or in the 2.0 Slack, and I will hear from you soon. Have a good day.